So if you're a follower of the Dream SMP, you've probably noticed that recently Ranbu has gained Enderman powers. I don't know that why. That doesn't make any sense. Wait, pick up the pick up this grass block here. Okay. Pick up this one. What the hell? Wait, it is no. his hands. I figured he had a shovel or something. What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, no, there's, there's no way. There's no way. And you might be wondering, how has he done that? Well, it's pretty clear that it's a plugin because plugins are quite easy to do this sort of thing. You could probably do it with command blocks, but it would be very difficult, I think. There's not even any like plugin on the server that would do this. So sorry, Tubbo, but that's 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 kind of wrong, I think. I think that a lot of the members are just being innocent about it because it is, after all, a roleplay server. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun to actually recreate said plugin? So I have done exactly that. I have created the Silk Touch Hands plugin, version 1.0 snapshot for some reason. And it is available on GitHub. I'll leave the code down in the description. And it's, I'll also try and put it on the Spigot website for you guys to download. It requires 1.16 and up simply because of the way I've coded it. I'm a bad coder. So I don't recommend you use this plugin on a like public server, but it works. What else can we get? Oh, the leaves. Yeah, can put the leaves on a different tree, for example. There's a gap here, fill that in. Hey. Some things you can't get, like this grass, can't get that. Endermen can't pick up grass. Now it only works with your hands, so as you can see I'm currently holding a grass block, so if I try this, I'll get dirt. So the reason for that is simply because I'm pretty sure that's how the plugin works on Dream SMP. I could code it so that it works as long as you're not holding any tools, it will do the silk touch effect, but I figured it would probably be easier just to kind of replicate exactly what they've got on the Dream SMP, which requires you to have an empty hand to do the effect. So here we can get our stone. Boom. Just like that. So we have a bunch of blocks here that we're about to test with this just to see how it works. So I have no idea how the Dream SMP's actual plugin is coded. It might be coded so that only certain blocks can be silk touched, whereas my plugin is coded so that pretty much everything can be silk touched. The only things that can't be are things that would probably not work correctly, like chests, for example. If my plugin let you silk touch them, you would lose the contents. So I have put some common sense in there, but the Dream SMP may have coded their plugin so that it only lets you silk touch like ice and glass and stuff. My plugin is not coded like that because that's not very future proof. But then at the same time, this isn't future proof because the next update might have some blocks that you don't want to be able to silk touch that you can now silk touch. But I'll try and keep this plugin up to date. So let's try this then. So we got ice, packed ice, Snow, stone brick. It did drop, trust me. Glass, glowstone, that's a useful one. Diamond ore? Yeah, just want a bit of diamond ore. Boom. Glass panes. Anvil. So I'm pretty sure all of these items would have either dropped like a dust, like the glowstone, or they would have been destroyed by just punching them with your fist. So this is quite an interesting plugin in that regard. There we go. Ender chest. So on the Dream SMP, they actually showed Ranbu mining an ender chest with his bare fist. So I thought it was worthwhile to actually add that functionality in although my plugin really doesn't care what you're mining it literally looks for when you break a block and it will give you that item back unless it's an item that you cannot physically silk touch for example a wall sign you cannot be given a wall sign so it will just not let you do that it will just kind of drop naturally normal chests for example again 
I don't let you do that simply because you'd probably lose the contents if you broke your chest. So a bit of common sense has been applied to this plugin, but there may be some things I've missed. I am not 100% up to date with all my Minecraft knowledge. There may be some game breaking bug in here, which is why I do not recommend this for a public server. But if you're running a little roleplay server like the Dream SMP, this is quite a fun little plugin to add if you want some Enderman powers. You can also combine it with missions plugin so that only certain players can do this if you don't want everyone to be able to do it. By default, only ops can use this and you can just give other players permissions using a permissions plugin of your choice like luck perms or B permissions if that's still a thing. That was a thing last time I used it or permissions X. That's one that my old server admin used to love. He loved permissions X. Everyone hated it because it was never up to date and it was garbage. But if you're one of the one people who still likes permissions X, it will probably work with this. Can't guarantee it. Now, oh, there you go. I don't know if you can minus permissions so that ops can't do this. I haven't tested that and my plugin doesn't have any way to kind of deny someone from doing this. Maybe a future update will let you do that. And here's the melon. Now the melon's one that may be a game breaker because... Uh, okay, it's not going to be a game breaker then. I was worried that you'd be able to convert this melon into nine melon. Um, because if you normally just break a melon with your with a, like your normal fists, you get four or well six. I think it's random how much you get, but last time I did, I got four. So with this, you actually get nine melon every time essentially. But I don't think you can convert the melon blocks into melons, can you? Am I being stupid? Well, yeah, you can't. So yes, that's been a quick look at this plugin. If you want to get it, I'll leave a link in the description. I would not recommend running this on a public server simply because it is experimental. There may be some game breaking bugs in there that allow people to duplicate items or gain an unfair advantage. I have not fully tested it. But if you have any issues, you can leave a comment down below or open a GitHub issue if you're more of a Cody person. <laughs> Cody, get it? <laughs> That's a terrible joke. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. I'll hopefully do some more fun videos, maybe even some coding ones like this. See you next time.